In my last vlog, I talked about making your case. The fact that so many times presenters talk about their subject, they talk about their topic, but they don't quite make an argument. They don't quite make their case. I want to talk here about a variation on that is why the case you're making is actually trying to challenge the thinking of your customer, challenge the thinking of your audience. Whoever you're trying to win over, even if it's leadership, you're trying to challenge the way they think. You're trying to get them to see that you are offering a key component that wasn't in their thinking, or they weren't thinking about it the way you're thinking about it. It creates a really good feeling to the listener, that sort of waking up feeling that, oh my gosh, it's like, wow, they've got a bead on what we're doing here. We need that. I want to look at selling. I want to look at the sales pitch, the competitive project interview, the shortlist interview, the orals presentation, the time where you in professional services has to win over the client. Professional services can be chosen just, you know, I like you, let's do this thing. A lot of times it's chosen in a more com competitive fashion where someone goes up for bid, they get multiple offers, they listen to several presentations. We call those shortlist interviews. And one of the reasons they're hard to do is it depends on the relationship that's already in place. So if we're looking at three competitors, but one of them we're doing a project with right now and we like them, they're the front runner. It's hard to beat that person. What normally happens in these presentations, just statistically, is we are going to try to ask you to come and present to us. So I'm the selection committee and we've set up some rules. We kind of want you all get 30 minutes to present, 30 minutes for Q&A. And, you know, we'd like you to follow this and answer these questions. We've sort of packaged you into an apples to apples to apples comparison. If you're in an apples to apples to apples comparison and they are deliberating and they've seen three firms, one of which is the one they already have a relationship with, they're basically probably going to go with the one they have the relationship with, the front runner, and then they're asking, has someone shown us something else so compelling that we would let the incumbent go and go for something different? That has to be a pretty powerful challenge. We try to be respectful to our clients, so we sort of follow what they say, and we end up doing a really good job that isn't enough to overturn that relationship. Now, let me unpack that a little bit more. We work really hard on making our case, or so we think. We work hard on figuring out how we talk about our approach and how good we are at it and what a great team we've assembled and why we think we're so good. But every team works that hard. Unless the other teams are coming in unprepared, all the hard work you do getting your nice presentation ready gets you to the spot where you'll simply be close enough to the competitors that it convinces them, oh, all three of these companies are pretty similar. Let's stay with the one we have. You're going to convince them with your hard worked, good presentation that you're just like all the others, unless you challenge the way they think. So I just watched a really good presentation for a team that's vying for a job. And the first thing that I said was, hey, you've got a great presentation here, but you're going to lose. And the reason that that's so easy to say is I knew they weren't the incumbent. You have to find a way to challenge their thinking and show them something that they haven't seen before. We once went into a company where we were the underdog, complete underdog. We knew that they'd already pretty much made their decision, and this was for a construction project. We said to them, look, you don't really need this building right now. We'd studied their company, and we had discovered that they had a workforce problem. It wasn't what the interview was about. The interview was about building a building. But their real problem was that most of the people in the company were phasing out. They were all in their near retirement years, and young people, millennials, weren't wanting to come and work in this company. Well, here's the challenge. We said, look, you don't even need a building now. Spending this money right now could be very hazardous unless you see that this is the opportunity to address what you really need. You need a workforce. And if we design and build this facility so that it's essentially 
the ideal haven for the kind of people you're trying to get to work at your company. Building this building is not only an okay idea, it's a fantastic idea. Think of us as your workforce team. We're going to help you get a workforce. Now, that was a total challenge to the way they were thinking about it. They Other teams did great presentations about chilled beams and boiler plants and whatever they had to do on you know this building, we came and said, it's not about a building, it's about getting your workforce. We challenged the way they thought, and we took the project. So if step one for my last vlog is, how do I make an argument? Step two is, I have to challenge hard if I'm going to take a relationship from an incumbent. If I'm anything other than the nearly absolute certain fit, I wanna come in ready to argue. I wanna come in to challenge the thinking to help them succeed and show them that we're seeing something that the competitors aren't 